Well, I'm such a huge fan of these Bluetti PV350 solar panels as I got another one. Matter of fact, I got these off of eBay refurbished after promo code for $399.99, $400 a piece. And right now I got these hooked up in series. So you can see at least the positive line coming off my camper is going to the positive line of this PV350 panel. And then the negative of that same panel is going to the positive of this panel. And then the negative off this panel is going back into my camper. By doing so, I'm doubling the voltage and not the amperage. So each one of these creates a little less than, I believe, uh, 10 amps, pushing 10 amps. And each panel roughly creates about 43 volts. So by itself, 43 volts on one panel with 10 amps. If I run them in series, I double the voltage but keep the same amperage. And by doing so, I can run these cables way out. Um, by having the these ran in series, by doubling the voltage and keeping the same amperage, I don't have to worry about increasing the gauge of these wires. Right now I have these wires as 10 gauge, kind of a overkill probably for this setup, but it's better to have it than not to have it. Um, well, we got some good sun here. Let's see what we're getting here, at least on my AC200L running in series. Now these are 350, rated for 350 watts. And right now I'm pushing about 654. Uh, I was seeing 670 there for a little bit, so I was creating about, oh, roughly 325, 330 watts per panel. Yeah, this is going to be awesome, especially for camping. And right now I'm at 52%. It's saying it's going to take roughly 1.6 hours to charge this to full. Now, I do have the B230 battery backup. Let me kick this on here. So let me turn this on if you can see this, the power button. So let me turn the power on. You'll see this turn green. It turns green. Now watch this. Once this syncs up, and that battery power will sync up with this battery power. And they might be the same percentage. Um, but let's see what this changes to from 1.6 to 4. Point, oh, it was 4.4. Must be reconfiguring itself. 3.1. Still saying 3.1, 3.2 hours. Right now we're pulling in 650. And this has 248 watt hours. The B230 also has 2048 watt hours. So once they're synced up, we're looking at 4,096 watt hours. And I think this is pretty much stabilized at 3.2 hours to charge 100%. At least right now pulling in roughly 650 watts, so 325 watts per panel those are pumping out right now, which is pretty darn good, especially when they're rated for, you know, 350 watts. And I have, I have on a pristine cold day, uh, especially, you know, early spring, I have been able to push out 351 watts on just one panel with these Bluetti PV350. So let me just kind of straighten these out, make sure they're perfect. Like I said, we're getting some really good sun here. I'd say the direction of this is just about spot on. Let me play around with this a little bit more. So I'd say that looks pretty good. And these are what's so nice about these PV350 panels. Not only the fact that they're, you know, really inexpensive, you know, $400 a crack refurbished. And I tell you, when I got these, I could not tell the difference between new and if it even was used before. I mean, they look brand new and they actually come with the same warranty, one year warranty as a new PB350. But let's see what we're pulling in right now. Yeah, it looks like we're still about that 651 watts. So, you know, I think that's going to be pretty typical. Um, I would say that's about average, 325 watts per panel. But I figured I'd just post this quick video for you guys, give you an idea of 
what two of those PV350 panels can do. Because what's, you know, what's really going to be nice about this, especially for camping, is we just don't longer really need to run our generator. Uh, I'd be amazed if I'll have to bust out my gas power generator to keep this battery system powered. And uh, hopefully this helps some of you guys out. I'll see you guys in the next video.